guys, it's Sandra from Wicked 13 Vintage. And uh, if you're new here, I am an online uh, reseller. Uh, basically what I do is I go to uh, thrift stores, estate sales, um, yard sales, and uh, buy things, usually vintage, and then I flip them online for a profit on sites like eBay, uh, Etsy, and Macari. Uh, today is Sunday, November the 17th. Um, I didn't do much vlogging this weekend. I've been focusing on uh, getting some listings up, um, taking some photographs, etc. Um, yesterday, I took a break and I met my wife Rebecca. We had a little date day. We went to uh, we went to the store that we call Dumpster Target. Uh, basically, it's a kind of a, a, a big store, and it's where Target. Uh, sends their returns or overstock and they're sold for like deeply discounted um, I usually stick to vintage items uh, but sometimes I find some good stuff at this place uh, that I think I can uh, flip for a, uh, a pretty good profit and I'll pick it up um, I was able to pick up uh, some things uh, while I was there um, I'm not going to disclose those things right now uh, because I, I just don't want to flood the market with it, um, but I should I should make probably um, twenty to twenty five dollar profit a piece on each item. Uh, so I'm hoping hoping that will uh, uh, will happen, uh, especially with the holidays. Uh, having uh, new things in your store, uh, people are really looking for those for gifts. So. Um, but, uh, which, whichever way it goes, if it's an epic failure or if I end up making some good money, I'll let you guys know, um, after I get everything sold. Um, so yeah, so we did that. We went out to dinner. I came back here, did some more work, uh, hung out with the dogs for a bit. Uh, and then today I am, a, we, I'm heading to meet her. Uh, we're going to go see Twelfth Night uh, at a local college here, uh, and then I've got to hit the grocery store and pick up some, some stuff, uh, but then I'll be back here with the dogs for the rest of the night. Um, I did want to show you guys, um, I bought some of those, hang on, I get it. Alright, the... Uh, see it. Clorox uh, bleach pen. Um, these were available if you watch uh, Katie and Vicki who are my friends and uh, they're, uh, they're resellers as well. Uh, they have a uh, Amazon influencer uh, reseller store and they have uh, a group of these bleach pens uh, for sale so I picked those up and uh, to support them. Uh, but I also, I've been wanting to try bleach pens and prepping some of my items because sometimes with uh, vintage items, uh, they've had a long life and they've seen a lot and they might have a couple of stains on them. Um, I've been using the LA Awesome to soak things that have multiple stains, um, but I have a couple of shirts that just have one or two and they're white and... Um, I just wanted to see if the bleach pen would work on these. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you what I got and then we're going to try this out and uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, here is uh, my guinea pig, I should say. Um, it is a, a vintage um, Screen Stars Best. Um, shirt that I sourced off of Mercari. Um, it was low enough that I thought I'd take a gamble on it. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool. It's got the, the old a and and then it's got a bunch of cool vintage hot rods. And down here, it's dated 1991. Uh, the problem is, and this was disclosed in the listing, the problem is, is that it's got some staining issues on the collar here. It looks like maybe 
some there, and then on the shoulder. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I've got some paper towels here. I'm going to uh, fold those up and then put them underneath because this is a bleach pen and I do not want to bleach my client's table. Um, so yeah, so let's, uh, let's try it out and see what happens. All right, real quick before we start, I'm going to check the instructions. So basically it's saying, it's saying uh, shake uh, before use. Um, you unscrew the chosen tip. It's got a thinner tip here and then a wider tip on the other side. And then once you have that done, you rub the tip on the area. And then it says, treat the areas, rub into stain, and then wash immediately with an all white most or mostly white load. Do not treat garment while wearing, obviously. <laughs> uh, not recommended for use on colored portion of garments, etc., etc. All right, so um, I rubbed it in a little bit off camera, and you guys can see, it looks like I took them out. I do see like one more spot in here. I'm just gonna treat real quick. Um, but yeah, so far it looks, it looks good. I'm going to, um, I'm going to rinse it out and then lay it, um, lay it back out and just make sure that everything looks kosher. So looks like this is a, uh, a success. Yeah. Thumbs up. So let's wash it out and then see how it looks after. All right. Um, I rinsed it out. It's still wet, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's looking good. If, um, if you'll see here, Definitely got this stuff out. That's cool. So I'll definitely be using more of that on my white items that are stained. And then um, if uh, if I see a cool shirt and it's got a couple of stains on it and it's white, I know that I can uh, easily treat it and uh, get it taken care of. So cool. So I definitely recommend the bleach pen. Uh, I'm going to uh, end the video here. Uh, this is going to be a rather a rather short one. Um, I did take some film of the um, of the pups, uh, so I'll thread that in because I know there's there's some people that like to see the pups that I I sit for. So I'll thread in some video of the cuties, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, if you're not subscribed please uh, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell and hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, as always, please place them down below. I'll see you guys later.